What's up YouTube and welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be addressing something that I get asked all the time and it's about how do you achieve like brown skin tone in your work. This is something that I do a lot of the time and when I tell people how I do it, sometimes they don't believe me. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be editing a picture and showing you exactly how I achieve that. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to be using Capture One um, today and the first thing I want you to understand with achieving this kind of look for your pictures is that um, you have to shoot on a brown backdrop or something like that and your outfit also has to be brown. I mean the outfit your subject is wearing also has to be some kind of brown or gold. The thing with photography or with cameras is that light bounces around a lot and most times when you use elements that have a certain color the skin tone also tends to graduate towards that color at least that's how your camera processes it. So the first step is to shoot like that and uh, as you can see in this image here this is a raw file you can see right here.nef and the reset button is completely grayed out and you can see the image already looks sort of like that uh, so that's the first step is to figure out exactly what, how you want to shoot and shoot that way in this case use a brown backdrop uh, so i have this brown backdrop from zen backdrops it's wearing a brown outfit and as you can see the first thing you notice that is a shade of brown at the back and the shade of brown in her skin and in her dress is slightly different um, I always like to look at tints and in so many ways her face has kind of like a green tint whereas the background has more of a magenta tint so i was going to try and fix that and try and balance things out a bit so the first thing i'll do is come to layers and masks and select background and once you do that and press m you can see that our background is selected very very finely um, you notice that it has selected some parts of our eye. We can just click the eraser tool by pressing E or coming up here to eraser and just taking that out. I'm just going to increase flow and opacity to 100%. Um, Capture has done a very good job selecting, but because the picture is a bit monochromatic, meaning that almost all the colors are the same, you know, it has mistook some of your subject as part of the background, and that's perfectly fine. We can just erase all of that. Okay, so we have this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my skin tone, or my color editor rather, and click on the skin tone tool. So you have basic, advanced, and skin tone, and I'm just gonna click on skin tone and select the background. Now, I can do this because the background is also very, very close to our skin. But mind you, we're doing this on a layer where we have selected just the background. So whatever changes we make here are only going to affect the background. So we're just gonna shift the hue of the background a bit, to the right to add some greens to it and we're also going to increase the saturation a bit and as you do that you see that right now we have kind of matched the background with her in a way that it wasn't true before so if i turn off this layer you can now see obviously that the background and the subject now have a very very similar tone if you were um, more on this skin tone tool later now the next thing i want to do is make sure that so i should have done this first is make sure that I'm happy with the white balance. Most times when I'm trying to achieve warm skin tones, um, while I'm shooting, I tend to shoot a bit warmer than I should. But in this case, um, we actually shot just all right, which is around 5,200 Kelvin, which is like close to like, you know, real life colors or white colors. So in this particular case, I don't need to adjust the white balance, but we'll just play around with it and see anyway. So I'm just going to go cooler a bit and go warm my bit. Uh, I'm just going to tread towards more of the cooler side and you know what I'm just going to do it at 5,000 let's see what that looks like okay so I'm on 5,000 now and I kind of like I like what I'm seeing so far so so far we've gone from this to this okay now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to come to something called base characteristics now if you can't find this just right click on any, any empty layer on your capture one go to add tool and go to base characteristics um, base characteristics is something where it's basically you changing the camera profile that you've used to shoot your picture uh, so i'm going to come here and as you can see i shot this with my nikon z9 and it's in pro standard you have other modes here flats landscape monochrome portrait standard there's so many different um, styles here but what you also have is other cameras as well and something that works well for me when i'm trying to achieve this brown look is leica and i use m10 monochrome neutral so i'm just going to come here and click that okay so with that click i can show you before and after of that it kind of desaturates the picture a bit it gets rid of some of the reds in the skin and all of that 
Uh, next thing I'm going to do is apply a preset. So normally I'll apply my gold preset on this, which works perfectly for um, this kind of work. But because I want to make sure you can do it on your own, I'll just show you a inbuilt preset that also works. So you can go to your styles and presets. Where is that now? Come here and styles and presets and go to built-in styles. And in creative edits, you can see something called Cozy Fall. Now Cozy Fall works for you know, goldish brown tones. So I'm just going to right click on it and say apply to new layer. Now you would notice that for me, this is too much and you can just come and that's why we applied it on a new layer because we know that we can then reduce the opacity later. So I'm just going to come here and then reduce the opacity of Cozy Fall a bit, so about 50. And this is where we are currently. So I'll show you before and after. Now, one thing I don't really like about Cozy Fall is by the way, when you apply any kind of preset or style in Capture One, if you then go to the tool where the adjustments were made, you see exactly what was done. So right here, we can see that there were some blues added to the shadows, some warm tones added to the mid-tones, and the highlights, they just left it as it is. Now those blues that were added to shadows, I don't really want them, so I'm just going to take this back to the middle to have it like that. And also my mid-tones, um, they are turning too much towards the red side, so I'm just going to take this up and drag it up a bit um that way till i like what i see so basically what i have done is i have modified the presets to my own taste okay the next thing i'm going to do is try to balance out the tones and the tones in our skin um so you would notice if i zoom in here that remember i talked about green tones and magenta tones so you notice here she has more green tones whereas here she has more magenta tones and that's something that is very very easy to fix in capture one so we'll create a new layer press b for um, brush and then go to this ai select tool here so i'm just going to click and drag and it's just going to select that entire area for me so right now if i press m i have a selection of just this area okay so the next thing i'm going to do is go to my skin tone tool again and click it so i have to decide which tone works better for me do i want the magenta tone or the green tone i think the green tone is more warm and friendly or receiving for a human skin so i'm just going to click on something that represents that so you see the tone right here if i click on the magenta tone you see that it's coming down towards magenta whereas when i pick the green one it's turning towards the green a bit now the next thing i'm going to do is come to this tool called uniformity and what uniformity does is very simple it's helps to balance out the skin tone to the skin tone that you have picked. So if I push the hue forward, what it's going to do is that it's going to try and change, as you can see, the entire hue of the skin to the hue of where I have selected, okay? And if I pull the saturation as well, it's going to try and balance out the saturation of the skin to where I've selected as well. The same thing with lightness, it tries to balance out the lightness. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I've selected the right area here, and shift the hue a bit most times you don't need to do this to 100 and then also shift the saturation a bit like that and just like that we've gone from let me go to my layers and we go from this to this so i don't know if you guys can see that so i'm just going to zoom in a bit more so hopefully you can see before and after so you see all of this skin tone here has been fixed we're going to do the same thing for our arm here and create a new layer as well and press B and for this one I'm going to start off by trying to brighten up the bottom part of our arm here so I've made a selection and I'm just going to grab an eraser reduce the opacity and flow and just erase the top part of the arm in bits the reason I'm doing this I'm trying to create a gradient because the top part of our arm doesn't really need this brightening so I'm just going to increase from my levels here to brighten that part up a bit okay and the next thing we'll go to our skin tone tool again and this time we'll also sample where we feel like it's the right skin tone and then push our hue and our saturation up a bit and just like that we have gone from here to here oops so we're going from here to here so that helps to fix some of these things now the next thing i'm going to do is just try to balance out the image as a whole so I'm going to create a new layer and press L 
edit for a gradient mask and i'm just going to swipe all the way up like this and if you press m you can see what that mask is doing and i'm going to increase my brightness a bit and also just increase my saturation because i feel like some of this bottom part is starting to get lost so we have before and after now i want this effect to only be on her skin and her dress or my subject really so i'm just going to press e for eraser and go to ai eraser okay now I press m for mask and you can see the selection and i'm just going to deselect the background like this like this Um, by the way, if you don't know how this AI tool works, I have a video specifically talking about how this tool works. I will link it in the description below. Okay, so if you see before and after, we have kind of fixed that. So let's see the before and after of every single thing we've done so far. And this is how we've gotten here. So that's pretty much how I would fix the tones in this picture. Um, I can go ahead and then do things like do things like remove the blemishes with capture one's tools um, you can press q and remove anyone that is left like that and that way we've easily been able to fix the picture so i'm just going to crop this perfectly like that i'm also going to add some crush the levels a little bit so crush the blocks I mean so I'm going to go to the image layer and then just come down the blocks a little bit and voila that's how I was going to go from here to here so pretty much that's how I approach brown skin tones and how I try to achieve that the first step like I said earlier is to make sure that you have this outfit the background everything in place and then the second thing is to go through these steps like I went through here. I also have an amazing preset that I use all the time to achieve brown skin tones. It's called the gold preset. And I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to buy it. It's a one-click kind of fix and you can reduce the past to see if it's too much. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, my plan is to bring you a lot more videos. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.